Hey guys and welcome once again to Toy Review TV, one for more so for the adult trading card collector this time but it is open to all ages, the Big Bang Theory Season 5 trading cards, one full box here sealed, 24 packs included, you can find autograph and wardrobe cards, standees and chase cards as well to be found in this box by Cryptozoic. The first season of these proving very valuable as they were quite hard to get hold of. But let's open this up. The first series, like I say, did sell quite a bit of money as everyone was scrambling to get them. You get your base cards as normal. And we should just put those to one side. Some pretty cool autograph cards can be collected in this series and there we have one of the standee cards that is Leonard we shall look at all of the chase standees and of course more importantly wardrobe and hopefully autograph cards towards the end we have another standee which is Howard so we get a good autograph with this set just a flick through. Do you get quotable cards included in these as well? Again, we just have the base cards. The base cards are none too exciting, really, compared to some of the, say, Marvel cards, Women of Marvel, etc. As I do like a foil card, and it's always nice to have a foil card as a base set but you can't have it all again we just have some base cards and as we delve into the next pack nothing particular standing out as yet and I think the standee cards are 1 in 12 as the as are the quotable, I think. So I think you may get two per box. We have something a bit special in this one. And we have Sheldon Cooper, played by Jim Parsons, authentic wardrobe card. So that is pretty cool. And even better, it is Sheldon Cooper. That is what we are aiming for. So we have one wardrobe card. I would imagine we may get a couple of wardrobe cards, maybe, but we shall see. Go through these as quick as possible, not too interested in the base cards so much. Just want to see, of course, the special ones, and there is our autograph card. It is Casey Sander as Mr. Roston Kousey. So there you go, there is our autograph card, which we'll only get one off, so not exactly the one I was looking for, but still all the same. It is one to add to the collection. There we go, just flick through. We may get one more wardrobe card included in this box. What would be nice to get a Jim Parsons auto card as well. It would have been nice to match up with the wardrobe card. But we shall have to leave that for the next box. Don't think we will get a, another standee in this. And there we have a quotable card which is foil. Bongo Solo and there is the rear with quotable and there is your quote on the rear so we should get another one of those quotables if it is 1 in 12 we may hit upon a another only a few packs left to go guys please do bear with me going as quick as I can Cars making a very large pile at the moment. And three more to go. 
and then when I've done these we shall gather the ones that count up and we shall see exactly what we have the fruits of our labours from this box there is a, another quotable but it's mint in box with Spock on the front and there is the quote on the rest so that should be it now for this box one more pack and there you go just base cards so in total guys as promised with the ratios 1 in 12 which are the quotables and there they are numbers 01 and 09 we have the standees Howard and Leonard numbers 1 and 5 our signature card autograph card is Casey Sander and then we have a Sheldon Cooper authentic wardrobe card so there you go guys not the best box break ever but all the same not too bad well guys thanks for joining me for this box break please do stay tuned as i hope to be doing more of these in the near future and i will see you all next time here on toy review tv